Hello everyone, George Kip, Forestry GIS Specialist, and this video we're going to talk about some of the common mapping controls that you might be doing when you're uh, getting your map set up for uh, you know some editing and analysis later on. Uh, one of the most common things you're probably going to want to do is to zoom to an area of an extent that is of interest to you. Right now we're just kind of showing the whole county, and it's... Uh, you know, cause some of the some stuff isn't showing up as well, like some of the roads and everything. So it'd be really handy to get down and uh, see exactly what we want to see. And the nice thing is that ArcMap can actually do it fairly well for us. Uh, one of the first things we're going to look at here is actually using these uh, these zoom tools. Now you can see the zoom in and zoom out tools right here, plus and minus. It's also some shortcuts. You can also hit like uh, you know Z or X for Z for zoom in, X for zoom out. So just uh, click your tool and you can, uh, you can uh, single click on something and it'll start zooming in. You can also draw if you left click and hold and then drag a box over here and then let go once you get that box. It'll zoom you right to uh, in the area of extent. We're gonna look at Peck Ranch here today. Uh, once you've found an extent you like, uh, one thing I always recommend is to make what's called a bookmark. So we're going to bookmark uh, And one of the nice things about setting bookmarks is that you, you always come right back to this exact extent. So even if, say, uh, we go all the way out here to back to the county extent again, we can quickly find our bookmark there and it'll take us right back to uh, to Peck Ranch. So we're going to go back out to the county extent and I want to show you one other, a couple other tools here. Uh, one is using this go back to previous extent tool. So that will take you back to like our Peck Ranch because that was the last extent we used. You can kind of zoom in and out like that. And you also have a, a nice little tool called find here. Oh, find works. Uh, you can uh, go through and look for certain areas that you may have. Now, these look in the attribute table of your data, so you have to. It might be a good idea to check your attribute table and make sure they're there. In this case, I'm going to use the serial number for uh, Peck Ranch Compartment 21 in our uh, Forestry Compartment 2008 layer, and we're going to look for that. So you see, it's going to find it. It, it found them right there, and as you can see, it actually you know highlights that on the map. So we can also quickly go to that using Zoom 2. And this will zoom us right to our compartment of interest. Okay. Now that we've got set our area of extent, we're gonna actually gonna put a bookmark here again. We'll call this compartment 21. And now that we've set our area of extent. Let's look at a couple other map controls of doing things like symbology and labeling. Because right now uh, you can't see through this area, it's just kind of a pink blob and we can't, we'd like to be able to see our aerial photo. So what we're gonna do here is uh, if you left click once on forestry compartments and you right click and we're gonna open up the properties menu. I'll show you an alternate way to do this in a minute. So let's look at the symbology of this area. So right now it says symbolize everything by a single symbol and that symbol is a solid pink line. So left clicking on that, uh, we have a bunch of options here. As you can see, you can make them solid green and we're gonna make that hollow. So uh, one of the things here too, we can change the outline width of that line. That's a pretty thin line there. So what we're actually gonna do is increase that and let's change it to something really visible against an aerial photo like yellow. Okay, and let's hit apply and see what it looks like. You can see it changes the symbology of, of this layer. So now you can see through it and you can also see, see the stuff underneath it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you an alternative way to change the symbology. You can also double click with the left mouse button right there on the symbol and it'll quickly take you to the symbol selector. So that way, say if we do want it a solid color, if that works better for us, say it's orange, uh, we have a couple options here. We can actually go back to our properties menu 
And here in Display tab, we can actually adjust the transparency of this layer. Let's say let's make it 65% transparent. As you can see, we can actually still tell that it was symbolized like that, but we can see through it and we can see the underlying image. Now, I'm actually going to go back and hollow that out. Okay. And lastly, one other thing I'm going to show you is how to uh, add some quick labels to your layers. So now that we've gotten to the area of extent and symbolized it the way we want, we're going to go ahead and go to the properties menu again. And this time we're going to click on the labels tab. As you can see here, there, there's a bunch of options. So it's going to look in your attribute table in whatever the field is and the field value for that particular area is going to be named. So in this instance, let's label it compartment number, make it nice and big, and we'll make the text white. So it'll show up really well. Okay. As you can see here, it actually, you know, we have our label that's compartment, that is indeed compartment 21. And so that's, each feature is layered. In later videos, I'll show you how to do a little more advanced labeling so that you could perhaps only label features of interest to you and control some of those labels a little bit. We'll also go over some other symbology techniques, you know, where in, in case you want to uh, symbolize some things differently than others, even in the same feature class. And after that, we will go into a little bit of a layout view in order to print a map. Thanks for watching.